hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tasha if you're new here thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe and if you're not new welcome back so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i bleach the notch of this frontal i'm going to be using some uh, aluminium foil a ball i'm also going to be using a comb this little spatula to stir the mixture um i'm going to be also using a dirty developer then I got from my beauty supply Sally everything you guys are gonna see from this video I pretty much got it from the beauty supply Sally um, I'm gonna also using this bleaching powder and I'm gonna be using also um, holding spray you can pretty much use any holding spray to be honest and I'm also gonna take my water bottle so first thing first I'm gonna spray the hairline of the frontal so I can push all those baby hair all the way to the back so I don't bleach those baby hair. I use first the water bottle and um, second I'm going to be using the holding spray to really hold everything in place and not have any accident with those baby hair. So I'm spreading the holding spray and I'm going to comb back again all those baby hair all the way down to the back. So now you guys are gonna see me um, mixing this bleaching powder with the developer. Um, I don't have any specific way or measurement. Uh, I pretty much eyeballed everything. So I'm gonna use not too much because it's just a frontal. Not a frontal, I'm sorry, it's just a closure. So I'm gonna use just a little bit of the bleaching powder. I'm gonna add my 30 developer. The reason why I'm not using the 20 developer is because for me, I feel like it takes too long. And I'm not using 40 developer because I feel like it runs way too fast. So I'm using the 30, it's in between and it works perfectly for me. So what I'm gonna be doing now, I'm gonna stir. I'm gonna stir this um, mixture all the way down to I get to the right consistency. For me, the right consistency is kind of like um, toothpaste. Uh, you don't want to have it too liquidy because it will run through the through the lace, and you don't want that. So it's kind of like toothpaste or cake icing. I'm gonna also be using um, a spoon. Uh, Nine out of the ten, when I use bleaching, I use um, the back of a spoon to apply it because I do wigs a lot. And it's like better for me to apply it but um, sometimes when I do those those frontal or those closure I can use a butter knife it depends it's up to you if you like the butter knife you can use the butter knife if you like the back of the spoon you can use the back of the spoon so like you guys can see now I start from the back because um, I work my way from the back all the way down to the top because those bleach are a little harder to bleach in the back uh, I pass the hairline and I go all the way to the front. Um, in the video, it kind of looks like, like I'm pressing against it, but I'm not. Um, it looks like it, but I don't. So I go very gently without pressing on it. So like you guys can see, um, I use it all the way down to... I cover the lace completely. And now I'm going to put it on the aluminum for you to make the process a little faster. I'm gonna set up a timer for about 20 minutes because that's about the time I, it takes to bleach. Um, every vendor is completely different. Some closures are harder than others. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep on checking. So with my comb, I'm gonna open it to see. Um, as of right now, um, it's bleach a little bit, but I want it to be bleach a little more. So I'm gonna leave it for an extra five minutes and I will rinse it out and I will show you exactly how it looks like so now it's bleached exactly how I want it um, I'm gonna try to show you how it looks um, the lighting is not really well I don't know if you guys can't see uh, for me the knots are a little gold so it's pretty much bleach I'm gonna rinse it out and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how it looks when I'm completely done removing the bleach um, I'm gonna be rinsing all the bleach off of the closure first and I'm gonna be using the chamois light um, to tone and to stop the bleaching. Uh, this is one of my favorite. This is what I use 
all the time when I bleach knots or when I bleach wigs, it doesn't matter. Um, it is very easy to find. So um, this is what I like to use. I also like to use the conditioner, but unfortunately today I realized that I didn't have any. So I'm not gonna use the conditioner today, but if you have conditioner, you can actually use it. Uh, I'm gonna be um, scrubbing and wash it off completely. And like you guys can see, I'm gonna scroll my hands through it to make all the bleach completely, tone them completely and stop bleaching. Um, I usually, what I do is, um, I usually repeat this process twice. Uh, sometimes I do it three times, because if I don't, it's gonna have that little yellow um, color that I don't want. So that's why nine out of the ten i do it twice but it happened then then i have to do it um a third time but nine out of the ten to be honest twice it's um completely um okay um and after that if i would have the conditioner i would actually put some conditioner and let it, the conditioner sit for about five minutes and, uh, but today I don't have any, like I told you, uh, I ran out, so I'm not gonna use no conditioner. Well, that's okay. Sometimes I don't use conditioner when I don't have any, and it works pretty well for me. So um, I rinse it completely, make sure everything's off. The conditioner, make sure everything's off. The shampoo is completely rinsed and it's completely clear. So now, it's completely rinsed. I don't know if you guys can see the airline look gold brown. This is exactly how I like it, and I'm ready to construct my wig. So I see you soon. See you for part two, showing you how I actually confect the wig. Thanks for watching. Bye.